Annette, how are you? Hello, Shen, how are you? I'm well. Out of the three titles you won in Australia, which means the most? Well, it's in 1983, uh, it was played over at Kuyong, and uh, I beat John Mackin on grass and Yvonne Landau, so it was my arrival into the big time, I felt. But then beating, winning, in Melbourne Park against Pat Cash, my good friend, <laughs> felt really bad. Amazing tennis. And it was the bicentennial birthday of Australia the same day, so <laughs> I felt like I spoiled the party. But me and Cashy actually hooked up at a nightclub metro afterwards for yes. a few drinks. So we were still mates afterwards. <laughs> you know, at the same time, I do know that Pat lost two finals in a row to, to me and, and, and Stefan Edberg as well. And the older you get, the more you wish your, your good friends had won. Mm. So I wish he would have beaten Stefan in that final because Stefan won the Australian Open anyway. <laughs> and I'll take mine against him. When did you decide tennis was a career for you? Um, I turned professional when I was 16 years old, mm -hmm. over 15 and a half. And I decided to give it a shot. And if I didn't, well, if I didn't make it or didn't make any money so I could keep going, I would have gone back to school. 15 and a half. That's too early. <laughs> Who was your toughest opponent and why? Um, Miroslav Mečir of Slovakia. Was the same age as me mm. and he beat me seven times out of 11. Okay. And he was never ranked in the top five, I don't think. Yeah. But we had a very strange, uh, I just couldn't play against him and he loved playing against me. <laughs> so I was in awe of his tennis. Yes. And I told myself, I cannot beat this Milos because he is too good, which is really stupid. <laughs> what has been the strangest thing that has happened to you on court? Um, I think that in, was it 1985, I played against John McEnroe at the French Open. He took his shirt off and the French crowd gave him the same reception as they do to Nadal where they start oh, yeah. whistling yeah. but they were joking with him and at the time I was winning two sets to one yeah. he was really upset and just after they started whistling he stood up with no shirt and he flexed his muscles <laughs> which there were no muscles so he had a sense of humor at the worst of times it was unbelievably funny what is your involvement with tennis now? I work for Eurosport and I commentate and do some other TV work for them. Then I play on the Champions Tour uh, and obviously a few exhibitions. And then I have just started a company called VLander on Wheels. Mm -hmm. And we travel, me and a friend of mine travel around in a motorhome or Winnebago in, this, in America and give lessons, clinics to people at their, at their club. Right. VLandrunWheels.com, check it out. You're welcome.